How's it guys? This is Davey FP and welcome back to the Fantasy Premier League video here on my channel. Now in this video, I'll be taking you guys to my very own free draft for the upcoming Game Week 12. So first of all, no, I won't be using the free chip for the upcoming blank Game Week 12, but a lot of you have been requesting this on the YouTube comments and my Twitter DMs, so that I'd actually create this video. Now this will be the first free it draft of this season. Blank Game Week 8 was kind of the only other Game Week I might have used the free it, but because of the first wild card, I instead used that chip. So in this video, we're going to be going through a quick rundown, a little bit of a quicker video as the day and will be happening tonight, Tuesday night, wherever you guys are around the world. So I'll be going over the talking point of should you use the free it, then take a look at the fixtures and deciding what fixtures to kind of target. And then finally, I'll be going over the actual free it draft. So that's something you guys are interested in. Sit back, relax, and let's get straight into it. So let's first talk about should you guys actually free it. If your team is currently looking like it only have kind of five players, six players, should you actually use the free it chip? So in terms of the thresholds of options for the upcoming free it, it's always kind of hard to say how many players you guys should be featuring. But what I'd probably say is that if you can get to about nine options with a minus for it, I think that you guys can save the free it. Now those nine options obviously have to include some of the big hitters, such as the most Salah, Trossard maybe if you guys want to take a one week punt. So I think if you guys can get to about nine options with one hit, I'd probably save the free it. Now the reason why you guys might actually want to save the free it for later in the season is that there probably will be a bigger blank, not just kind of one blank game week, Man City and Arsenal. And then I think the chip might be more useful. But unfortunately, this is kind of a super situational question. But if you guys do want some advice, comment it down below or ask me on my Discord server. We'll just feature in the deadline stream coming up later on. Now, I guess the big reason for using the free at in Game Week 12 is that we probably own a lot of these Arsenal and Man City assets. And after Game Week 12, they have really nice fixtures. So I can perfectly understand if you guys have kind of a triple up from both of those sides. I would then probably be tempted to actually use the free at so that you can secure those options next Game Week. But if you guys are using the free ad, make sure that you guys do post your draft down below and also let me know how many options you had originally for Game Week 12 with our transfers. But now going on to the actual fixtures for Game Week 12 and as with any draft, I always say the fixtures are the bread and butter and on a free ad, you guys have a nice little condensed section of only one Game Week. So I'm going to bring the Game Week 12 fixtures up on screen right now for you guys to take a look at and we'll be going through them one by one and I'll be telling you guys what teams to kind of target. So the first game, Brighton vs Nottingham Forest is probably the best game of Game Week 12. And if you're one that I would target on a free it, obviously I'm referring to the Brighton side, the left hand side to the Nottingham Forest side because from an attacking and a defensive point of view, then that Brighton score goals and keep a clean sheet. So that's definitely the game to target and on a free it, you guys are probably going to be disappointed after the first game, already excited after the first game because you probably will own a triple up. The next game, Crystal Palace vs Wolves, I would target this from a Crystal Palace defense point of view. Wolves are struggling to score at the moment, but they are defending quite well. So that's why I wouldn't kind of jump out with a Wilfred Zah. Yes, he's a great option to actually look at, but I think the other games have a high ceiling. So your Androitas and your Gaze, I would target all of these assets, maybe even go for a triple up or a double up. Then Bournemouth Southampton's a tough game to call. Yes, Southampton haven't actually kept a clean sheet this season, but Bournemouth aren't the most attacking side, and therefore both these two teams, I can't really suggest too many of the assets. The next game, Brentford Chelsea is a tough one to kind of call. Yes, Brentford have been conceding quite a few, maybe a Chelsea attacker, but with that Potter rotation, who kind of knows is going to start in that Chelsea lineup? I don't really think I would include a Chelsea defender as well because Brentford with Tony have been quite free scoring. So therefore this game is quite hard to kind of recommend. Liverpool West Ham is a little bit tough to call as well. West Ham have actually been defending pretty well top five in terms of XG conceded. But with this new look Liverpool side and this new look Salah, maybe Liverpool can get a result here. So I can't really recommend too many of the West Ham assets, a Jared Bowen on a free it, I probably won't go for just because this is Liverpool at the end of the day, but if you guys do have him, I'd probably just keep him. Then in terms of the Liverpool assets, probably Salah from an attacking point of view, will probably be the most captain options, therefore the safest option to go for in Game Week 12. But I do like the look of a Darwin and a Firmino depending on what kind of setup Liverpool would go for, now that Luis Diaz and Jota are injured. Then what I would do is wait for the press conference on Robertson and Trent because if they are going to be fit for this Game Week, they could also be worth a punt. Next up, Newcastle Everton, quite a tough game to kind of call you. Newcastle are defending and attacking pretty well though, so a play like a Trippier and Almiron or Wilson could all be valid picks. Then in terms of Everton, can't really recommend too many of their assets, so definitely in this fixture, I'll target Newcastle. Next up is going to be United versus Spurs, probably a game I would avoid, but if you want to go for a Harry Kane, I think that's a valid pick because he's been so consistent. Then I guess another option is a Perisic, if you expect him to start, a Doherty could even be a great shout. But with United favourable to score you, can't really recommend too many of their defenders. Then Fulham, Aston Villa, also a tough one to call. Aston Villa have their sacks TVG after a poor start to the season. And Fulham are also quite free scoring, so maybe a Mitrovic could be a pick. But other than that, contrary to recommend too many of the defences, they just hope that it's an absolute goal fest. Then finally, Leicester versus Leeds is quite a tough one to call because I think I would probably favour the Leeds attackers. Madison out with that yellow card suspension, that might take a knock to the Leicester attack. But Leicester can't defend anyway, so maybe a Sinistera could be a pick. But in this fixture, I can't really recommend too many of the assets as if it may be a Leeds attacker. 
But as you guys can see, in terms of a free tier, you don't really have that kind of flexibility of your premiums. Suppose play United, so that game might be quite tough. Liverpool do face West Ham though, and if they do pick up this form of the prior game weeks, they could be quite good assets. But other than that, probably Brighton, Nottingham Forest is a game that I would target, and then here and there we have some nice other differential teams. But now let's go on to the actual kind of starting 11 of our draft. First things first, on the bottom right hand side, the boring part of this, I could afford this draft with about 0.5 to spend. Please do remember that I have included some of these assets that I already owned from game week one, so my team value might be slightly different to yours. But 0.5 is a good kind of bracket to go for, so if you guys can afford this draft, and if you can't, I will recommend some downgrades. Now I'm going to start off on the bench here because I haven't actually picked a bench because on a free you want to stack as much money in your starting 11, so you guys can go simply any of these options at these price brackets. You guys can see a 4.0 goalkeeper, obviously a Ward or Iverson, a 4.5 midfielder, probably Andres Pereira, 4.5 defender, whoever you guys favor, and finally a 4.0 defender, who probably will be Neko Williams. So if you guys do go with this kind of price structure of the bench, you'll be able to afford this draft quite easily, but also please remember if you can't, you can simply downgrade the bench to cheaper assets. Then going on to our starting 11 and my starting goalkeeper of choice is going to be Guaita from Crystal Palace. Wolves at home is a great fixture on paper. Wolves struggling to attack. But yes, there might actually be a downside because Guaita won't get as many save points, but we still favor the clean sheet. But there are other assets that you guys can also look at if you want to go for someone like a Sanchez from Brighton. Great fixture on paper, but I've decided to split the odds in terms of our defense. So let's go on to the rest of the defense to kind of showcase that. The first player I've gone for is Trent Alexander-Arnold. Now, I would definitely wait to see if Klopp says that he's back to full fitness because just coming back from that injury might not kind of rush him in, might kind of grow his fitness a little bit. But if he does start against West Ham United at home, that's a great fixture. But the nice thing about Trent is that you can simply downgrade him to anyone because he is the most expensive defender in the game currently. Then we have Tripp against Everton at home. No brainer there. One of the best defenders to own in game week 12. Might even be a captaincy consideration if you guys do want to go for him. But I can't really recommend him enough. You guys should have him on your team without a free hit and with the free hit. Then our final defender to go for is going to be Lewis Dunk from Brighton. There's no kind of worry about money here, so I've gone for the more expensive asset, but a Feltman or Webster are also great picks. Now, Nottingham Forest at home might be the best fixture on paper from a defensive point of view, so I definitely would have a Brighton defender. But as you guys can see, on my kind of template freer draft, I've split the odds here. I've got a Crystal Palace defender, a Liverpool, a Newcastle, and a Brighton one, but you guys can also double up on any of the mentioned defenses. Then go on to midfoot apartment, no brainer, first pick is going to be Salah, yet another Liverpool asset here, bushing the most kind of highly desirable premium in game week 12, looks to be back on form, and hopefully against West Ham that can continue. Now I also included Salah here because he is a standout kind of camp C option most managers will go from, so therefore you guys do want some coverage. The next up is going to be the one week punt of the game week Trossard against Nottingham Forest, you simply can't buy a better fixture at the moment, and that's why I just hope that Trossard starts. Now there was some concerns about a potential benching for Trossard, came off quite early in game week 11, but I do think that he will start in game week 12. Then next up, we're going to go for the more differential picks here. I've gone for Harvey Barnes. We mentioned that lead side not being the best defensive side, and although Leicester's attack might be hindered by the loss of Madison, I still do think Harvey Barnes get a return. So I wanted to bring a Leicester attacker in here, but you guys can also go for a Leeds attacker if you do think that Leicester's defense is worse than Leeds. Now the final midfielder to go for might be controversial because they can't exactly predict Potter, but I've actually gone for Raheem Sterling after him being benched in game week 11. I just simply could afford Sterling and that's how I've gone for him, but you guys can also go for a Zah if you want a cheaper option. I just think against Brentford, a side that aren't the best defensive side, Chelsea could actually score a few. But yes, definitely the downgrade that I would go for if you guys can't afford this draft. I've included him here because I wanted a Chelsea attacker and he was rested in game week 11. Then finally going to our forward line, I've gone for Harry Kane up front. I know that United away game might be a tough one, but he's been so consistent this FPL season. And because I had the value in the bank, I wanted to go for him. But yes, another position that you guys could also downgrade, maybe go for a Jamie Vardy if you do think he'll start against Leeds. The next up is going to be Mitrovic against Aston Villa, a player that's always a talisman for Fulham, hoping that he can showcase that against Aston Villa, who have been performing pretty badly. So kind of a no-brainer in terms of the forwards at the current moment. You could also go for Solanke, I guess, but I do prefer Mitrovic's fixture. And the final forward to go for is going to be Callum Wilson from Newcastle. Everton at home is a great fixture. Newcastle attacking pretty well at the moment. That's all for me. It's also a little bit of a no-brainer. But there are some other forward players that you guys could potentially highlight if you do want to go for a kind of midfield 500% downgrade Mitrovic or Callum Wilson, but I probably would still stick with Harry Kane. But as you guys can see, this is kind of a template free draft. I do actually like it. it has some differentials in here. Raheem Sterling, a Harvey Barnes. I'm expecting them to do actually quite well. But if you guys don't like those positions and you want to make it your own flavor, obviously you can downgrade or upgrade them to whoever you guys do want. But let me know in the comments down below if you guys are on a free or if you made a free draft, what's your current draft looking like? Is it better than mine or is it worse than mine? Have actually swayed you on some of these player options. I'm pretty sure some of them might be controversial, but I still expect them to do quite well in game week 12. But this is basically for the guys. Hope you enjoyed. Please don't to like if you didn't subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Sorry, it was a little bit of a quicker one, but I wanted to get this video out before the deadline. But I will check you guys later for my deadline stream. But I'm going to be signing off. This has been Davey FPL, and I'm out. Cheers, bye.